that there are three kinds of zones in handwriting. Hi guys, my name is Sudhir Koye, I am a symbologist and a graphologist. Today we are going to know some lettering of zones. In previous few videos, we discussed about what are the handwriting zones. You must have been watching those videos, so you know that there are three kinds of zones in handwriting, upper zone, middle zone and low zone. But till the time, we were always discussing about the zones and not about the letters or the traits in the handwriting from which you can identify zones and their meaning. So in today's video, we are going to focus on some letters. So in general, L, B and H are the three letters which represents zones of a person in terms of upper zone. So L, B, H represents upper zone. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the H letter and its zones. So now you must have seen there are few things which we have mentioned over here, few types of H. So you are supposed to draw your own H right now and compare which one of your these letters is matching to your own handwriting. So now if you observe the first, you observe there is a very small loop up in the upper zone. So this kind of person is a narrow minded. Then there is a second kind of H in which there is a bitter, bigger loop. This person is uh, broad minded or open minded. And number three is a broad minded person which has a larger loop in the upper zone. But again, these kind of people have too many ideas in their mind. So they may be confused at times. Now there is a fourth kind of H which has a retrace upper zone. This is a person who will have the uh, retrace ideas. He will is not very open to try out new ideas. Then fifth and sixth. Fifth one is hooked to the past ideas. Sixth one is hooked to the the future ideas. Seventh one has a jealousy stroke. This person will tend to desire something which other person has. Eighth one is very rigid about ideas. Ninth one is the person who wants to do something unique and who wants to have the expertise in one domain. These kind of people will have that kind of edge. Tenth one will carry extra things. Uh, if you have this kind of edge, you will always carry more than two pens with you. You will carry more than one thing with you. And people may say that you carry unnecessary things. Okay. And this eleventh one is the one who likes to help other people. So guys, these are the eleven type of edge. If at all you have uh, one of these edge, do comment that which kind of edge you have. And if you have a different kind of edge, you can comment with the photo of that edge in the below comment section and we will analyze that edge for you as well. So guys, this was regarding the zones and the upper zone of letter H. Similarly, we are going to make few videos about lower zone, middle zone and you will come to know about what kind of zones you are or how you should behave with what, uh, the different kind of zones. Do subscribe to the video and like, comment, share this video. If at all you want any professional help from our site to change your signature handwriting, we are there. Do contact us and change your life.